Hey everybody, it's Harry from Chef and Eddie Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. You see me cook pork belly several different ways on my channel, such as cooking it like a pork belly, pig candy. I even cooked a pork belly like a brisket. In this episode, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to cook a pork belly in butter to see if I can make some wonderfully moist, tender morsels of pork belly burnets. Take you along for the ride and show you guys how we can transform this piece of pork belly into a perfectly crusted kind of brisket style pork belly. And then we're going to cover it and smother it in butter, cook it confit style until the pork belly is absolutely wonderfully tender. Maybe at that point in time, depending on the level of the crust, I may decide I want to sear it with my blazing grill gun or we'll just cook it and get it out of the confit and serve it right away. So we'll do a little test, show you guys which is the best way to cook your pork belly in butter. I season our pork belly here. We use uh, all-purpose rub here for the pork. Nice even coat. You can use a schmear if you want, put some mustard on it, make it stick. But I'm gonna skip that step here. Other side. Just a touch of celery seed. And a little bit extra black pepper. So it comes out kind of like a brisket, burn in. Even though it's pork, we're gonna put this in a butter bath after we set the crust. Sides, side, and all set to go. We'll smoke it until it sets the crust, and then we'll cook it in a butter bath so that it becomes super moist to make some pork belly style butter burnets. All right, let's get some smoke on it. I'm gonna put it in the Jim Bowie. Pork belly is ready. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, nice crust. Color. All right, so now we're gonna put it in a little butter bath. Cook it in butter now until it's nice and tender. Ready to cook the pork belly in butter now. I'm gonna pour some butter on it. All right, so that it will be completely covered with butter, I actually am going to start to maybe cut the little burn end parts here, so where I can get the entire chunks in butter. Get them not to all be happy. So I have the pieces of pork belly or pig belly, and it's now soaking in butter. I'm gonna let it cook. Until the internal temperature gets about 195 so it's now it's super tender and then we're going to cut it into cubes and that makes our little pork belly burn ends with them. The uh, pork belly burn ends are ready and I cook them in butter so you can see here they're nice soft and very very tender still very hot so I'm gonna cut it up and then cube them put some sauce and then kind of set the sauce and put it on a rack to cook. See super tender moist burn ends and it's not too tender where it's falling apart it can still hold its rigidity like so nice nice smoke ring on it also 
I'm gonna cut all these up and then we're going to set some sauce on it. Create some beautiful pork belly burn ends. This is how the pork belly cooked in butter. Burn ends look like after kind of a little bit of sauce and a little bit of finishing. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Nice and soft here. Kind of like very tender. Morsels of little pork pieces here. Take a bite. So pork belly, butter, goodness. Super tender, hint of smoke. The rub and the sauce go really, really well. It's a very, very moist, tiny hint of sweetness from the uh, barbecue sauce. So these are fantastic. Pork belly cooked in butter, burn ends. So if you want to try it at home, it's not that hard to do. You just kind of cook your pork belly like a brisket and then cut them into cubes. Go ahead and sauce them a little bit. Let them render out a little bit more and I'll get some of that sauce and crust on it. Absolutely fantastic eating. Beans. Want some? Hey beans. Want some food? All right, my shoot is never complete without beans. It's the beans getting a little taste here. All right, sit, sit, sit. Try pork. Hope you guys uh, like this uh, video. Uh, if you do, please like, subscribe, and share. And again, I want to thank all my Patreon subscribers for helping me fund my video projects. So until the next time, we will see ya.